good morning. I am taking a little break from what I've been doing the last day and today. You know, something about this spot, it's unlike anywhere else. I get sudden bursts of creativity and inspiration just being here at the Liar River. I know that may sound really cliche or something, but it happens to me. Uh, I become an artist out here and, and <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I'm writing a song. I'm, I'm writing an original song this time. The last time I had this kind of creative spark was uh, here, three or four years ago when I did that parody of an Eagles song about the Liar River. I'll put something up top. You can check that out if you haven't seen it. But now I'm trying to do something original. Well, not, not trying, I, I am. I brought out the acoustic guitar and nothing else out to the river yesterday and started strumming together three chords. And I, I had thought that I had written a song. I, I could build a song out of these three chords. Uh, yeah, let me, let me grab my guitar. Actually, I don't want to take all the equipment apart. We'll just go inside. It's a mess in here. Forgive me. Uh, we're, I've been working though. This is my mobile recording studio of sorts. I got a few new pieces of gear here. Big shout out to Motorhome Max. Uh, got the, the mixer over here and a nice Bose speaker. So uh, I think you really helped motivate me to start making more music, buddy. So thanks. I'll put a link to his uh, videos in the video description below. I think he's going to start working and building his channel. But this is what we got. We got my Tascam 8-track digital recorder. I've had this for a while. I've got my acoustic electric guitar plugged in right now. A Shure microphone and a pop filter. I've got the mixer back here so I can adjust equalization going into the uh, recorder if I want. Monitoring everything on my beats. And I got my laptop up starting to work on some... I say I got verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, 4. Traveling down the 101, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to get into all that yet. Because I want most of this to be a surprise. That's why I'm just... Hopefully, the next video you see from me, my next step is to get all of the guitar strumming recorded onto two stereo tracks here so that I can start putting together the verse. I haven't even written the entire song lyrically. And then what I'll do is record the vocals onto one track here, then go back through and add harmony to the chorus, or maybe the bridge, or a few other spots, but you'll hear multiple Eric's singing on different tracks of this song, hopefully. And then we'll master it all down, and then there's a whole other step of going back out to the river where I will listen to the finished product, the uh, music, and I will try to create and map out a music video to film. So what kinds of things do I want to film around Liar River? This song is going to be about the Liar River, and it's going to be produced and filmed here at the Liar River. I've always done parodies. In fact, I put, I put all this effort before into those parodies where I make fun of other songs, and it's like, Eric, for the time and effort and everything, how about we just create an original song, right? Like something original, my own song. It won't be studio quality or anything, but it, you know, let's start something and finish it and, and have it be mine. That's my, that's my goal here. Trying to think of what I can say without giving away the first verse. So I sat out here yesterday after getting the, the chords and what, what are my chords? An E minor? D, and then, and then that. I don't even know what chord this is or if it is a real chord. I just like the sound of it. But uh, sec B string, first fret, and D string, second fret. Anyway, um, and then as far as the creativity part, uh, let's just jump right to the chorus, because the chorus is the one that's going to be repeated a couple times in the song. I'm sitting out the chair, literally just looking around. And the first thing I see outside around me everywhere here is the sword ferns everywhere a whole jungle of sword ferns so i use that word ferns to see if i could find any other rhyming words ferns derns kerns learns churns burns and i wasn't really inspired the two syllable word river i could not find anything that would rhyme with river to end the chorus but what does the river do it flows how about liar river flows goes chose blows does toes in the water so the chorus for this song is western sword ferns and tall cedar trees the moss between my toes the singing birds and salmon runs where the liar river flows that is not the melody i'm tricking you i have a totally different melody for this song worked out but yeah i need to go back outside obviously well no first i'm gonna go back inside and i'm gonna record the entire guitar track 
the intro, the verses, the chorus, the, the, the bridge, and then the ending. I may kind of hum the tune in my head while I'm playing so I don't get lost by how many frames I'm supposed to be recording and stuff. And then I'll come back out here, grab another seat by the river, and hopefully get inspired to write the second and third verses. And then tonight, hopefully when the sun's down, I will be, uh, I'll have the quiet of the river, if that's a thing, uh, to record all of my audio inside the RV. I think we should be okay. And then depending on how late I want to stay up, the mix down and mastering part is a whole nother game because all those levels on the mixer, as I bounce tracks and mix down this recording, if this is all me singing on the chorus, I, while it's recording and bouncing live, I'm gonna have to pull it up and down because certain things are gonna be too loud or too quiet. Even though I've gotten used to, as I'm singing, being able to back away from the microphone at the really higher parts and stuff like that, but there's no perfect science to it, that's for sure. It's just, uh, try to do the best I can do. And then, geez, yeah, so I still think my next video is gonna be a completed music video of this. And I purposely, on purpose, did not want to have anything else besides the video, the music video, the song and stuff. I just want it to be, a three minute or so clip that you can play, repeat, share, and not have anything else on it. So that's why I'm talking in this video before it about what's going on. And I'm really excited about it. And then by that time, it'll be time to leave the Liar River and go back to civilization, I guess. You know, but when I think about all these places that I come back to in the Northwest, and they're like, they cut things and they tear down campgrounds and they take away this and that. The Liar River is the exact opposite. It's almost as if somebody in the Department of Natural Resources watches my video when I'm worried about them closing it down and the garbage and the water issues and everything. And they try to make this campground better every time. We talked about having the drinking water here. That's so unique to DNR campgrounds. You, That's crazy. Drinking water at one of these deserted remote campgrounds. But this morning we were awoke by the beep beep, the backing up of, of a big truck that came through and dropped off a dumpster here at Liar River. So one thing that's going to keep the campground a lot cleaner People aren't going to leave trash in their campsite and throw it in the bathroom or down that toilet and stuff. So these are improvements. It's great. That's why I feel like this campground is different than the others. I don't think it's ever going to go away. I did think it a couple years ago that, yeah, we were going to lose this spot, but not anymore. I have full confidence that they're, they're, they're going all in at this place. And that's why, that's partly why I'm a little inspired to write this song and make the video. So... This is going to be really weird for you because you're not going to hear any, any of the music. I don't want to record the actual music onto the audio track, so I'm listening to the guitar in here. I'm going to record. You're going to hear part of the chorus here, basically. Yeah. Okay. Western sword ferns and tall cedar trees, the moss between my toes. Now I'm going to work on the chorus again, and I'm going to add a lower piece of harmony over my other vocal. Western sword ferns and tall cedar trees. And yet again, I'm gonna do a higher harmony than the main vocal. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you a part of this. I don't have any output right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug the speaker in, the output of this, so you can hear one line of the chorus as a teaser. Okay, here's your piece. Here's the chorus. Western sword ferns and tall cedar trees. all you get that was just for practice all those audio tracks will be removed I'm just trying to just trying to see what it might sound like I got to close all the windows in the door to make everything qu as quiet as possible although if you hear the river in the background I don't think I would care too much it'd be great actually that's it I just mastered out the song it's right here on this SD card finished done not making any more changes I did change a few guitar parts here there at the end just to make it sound better but that's only half of it you know because like I said I want to put a video I don't want to say music video I just want to get a collection of Liar River here to supplement the video instead of me just you know standing there singing or strumming or something right so I appreciate all you guys over there on Patreon so that's why you get a little special treat get to hear it first before I shoot the video I'm gonna take a break now kind of uh, clean up camp a little bit, put everything away, because I have that urge to go on a bike ride. 
and I want to go check out those trails over at Sadie Creek. So about four or five, maybe even, no, I think it's five miles ride there. I'll uh, bring the camera, chest mount, and go on some trails. We do have a rather large hill to get up here initially just to get out of the campground, but kick it on into pedal assist three. And then we'll go straight uphill. Holy cow. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Alright. Alright, so I won't bore you with this part of the ride. I'll get back to me and get to the trails. Actually, I'm gonna make this right right here. We're gonna go check out Murdoch Beach. Might as well. You know I love the beach, the ocean. It's a little bumpy through here. I'm really happy I got those four inch fat tires. Kind of helps absorb some of the bumps. Ooh. Climb that hill, no problem. Oh yeah. It's definitely starting to smell oceany. Oh, okay. Um, doesn't say no bikes. We do fit. Just barely. <laughs> All right. Narrow bridge. <laughs> Ooh, still a little bumpy though. Oh, and hello beach. <laughs> just like that. I didn't bring the microphone or anything. I'm just holding the chest mount in my hand with the GoPro. And I'm on super wide. That's why it looks a little weird, but. This is the Strait of Juan de Fuca. That body of land over there, Canada. Yeah. Big old pile of seaweed there. That's funny, even the ocean has moss on their rocks. Actually, it's, it's seaweed, but it looks like moss. Isn't this better than just hanging out at camp? Even though I'm, I'm doing stuff, you know, writing songs making things happen but hey gotta get out and explore sometimes that's a really weird piece of driftwood too <laughs> and here we are at sadie creep campground all six campsites are open on this beautiful june day oh man but <laughs> is it nearly as good as liar river i don't think so all right let's go check it out the sadie creek trail never been here before well on this trail before Oh, that's fun. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, buddy. I like that. I do apologize for the bounce. Just got a GoPro strapped to my chest, so it is what it is, right? <laughs> ah, it's actually a lot cooler here on the trails than like out at the, on the hot concrete. Ooh. Lots of braking, which means we're gonna be going uphill on the way back. That's okay. Uh, once this spits me back out onto the road though, I'm gonna head back to camp, cause that Liar River or the pool are both sounding good right about now. For a little choke. Yeah, starting to feel like home again. This looks familiar. I think you're gonna think it's too cold. Do you think it's warm? Do you, do you want to find out? Are you dying to find out? Yeah, I'll go first. Oh, it's not warm. It's not warm. What do you think? Well, you get to sit on my lap. It's, oh my goodness. You really don't want to? Your paws are getting wet. You gotta get your feet wet. Ah, claws, claws, ah, claw. Oh, bad idea. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Go for it. You can stay. <laughs> I've only made a few bad decisions in life. Trying to get Jax into a pool. It's gonna rank right up there actually. <laughs> okay, sadly I am emptying the pool now. <laughs> Don't know if it was such a brilliant idea to even set it up. I used it a whopping one time. So. Got both hoses going down. I actually had to plug in my wet dry shop vac because I was trying to suck the end of it. Not gonna finish that sentence. Anyway, didn't work manually. So... <laughs> Good Lord, Eric. We'll feed the Liar River back to itself here, okay? All right. I'm gonna cut this video off because I still got 
more work to do tonight with planning and filming and then editing tomorrow. So I will be back with a neat video in two days. So hang tight. I'm still sweating out here. It's awesome though. I love it. Take care guys, Jackson and I will see you in a couple days. Bye bye.